Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla. Hopefully everybody is doing well. I'm so sorry guys that I'm in my robe and pajamas again. It is kind of crazy at my house right now. My son who lives with me, he was a big tennis player in high school, but he was also a basketball player in high school and he had a lot of ankle sprains when he was there. So I mean, he must have in his lifetime had about five really bad had ankle sprains on his one left leg and he was recently playing tennis and he fell and he really just kind of destroyed the ligaments in that leg so he just had complete ankle reconstructive surgery the past uh, week he is off his foot he is non weight bearing on that leg for four weeks for four weeks. So we have a little scooter for him so he can kind of get through whatever floor he is on the house. But we live in a tri-level in Colorado. The bedrooms are on the top floor and then he has to go down about six steps to get to the main floor. So to go up and down the steps, I have to lift the scooter and let's put it this way, I am tired and I think I've lost a few more pounds, unfortunately, just from doing all this extra exercise by lifting the scooter, helping him do things. It's just crazy. But anyway, sorry for my PJs. I wanted to do kind of a fun video of cleansing balms that I picked up. A lot of them are drugstore cleansing balms and I'm going to do a comparison. Now this comparison is my comparison. You may love the cleansing balm that I'm talking about, but there is just, you know, I'm just going to kind of tell you what my favorite cleansing balm are and kind of the ones that aren't my favorite cleansing balms. This is just my personal opinion. I don't want to offend anybody who may like these. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what I thought were some of the better cleansing balms for the price. And I'm talking, you know, like under $20. Because if you go to Sephora, a lot of their cleansing balms are really more expensive. What I'm talking about are cleansing balms that you can pretty much get at Target or Walmart. Cleansing balms like that. So let's get started with this video. So I put my cleansing balms in two piles right now. The piles that I really love and the piles that I probably personally would not buy again. I'm going to go with the ones that I don't like as much and tell you why. I believe most of these cleansing balms are cruelty free. Just so you know, I'm pretty sure when I was reading about them, they were cruelty free. So for all my cruelty free people out there, I think a majority of these are cruelty free, but with a twist for some of them. Let me get started with the ones that I don't like quite as much. I'm looking at one right now. This particular one, I don't believe you can get into the drugstore. Tula. Isn't Tula Skin Care Clean Beauty at Sephora? I'm pretty sure that is anyway. But I just happened to see this on my <laughs> vanity here. And this is probably one of my least favorite cleansing balms. The reason being is I just feel it is extremely oily. I'll show you. It has that very oily consistency to it. I don't know if you can see that. It just reminds me of like putting Vaseline on my face. There really isn't much of a smell. This is definitely cruelty-free, Leaping Bunny approved, but it's not my favorite. If I had to purchase a higher end cleansing mom, for example, at Sephora, I would buy the one from Pharmacy. I think Pharmacy is cleansing balm, and also the one from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye, Bye Bye, whatever cleansing balm, the one I had before that I talked about as a favorite. I think those probably would be my two higher end or above $20 cleansing bottles. These are just the more inexpensive ones. The first one actually is from Milani. I know a lot of people love Milani and this is the Milani Green Goddess Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. It says it has cannabis sativa seed oil and it says it is antioxidant rich. It is cruelty free. It has a fragrance that I do not like at all. It says the fragrance is bergamot and I do not like the smell of this at all. The other thing I don't like about it is I don't like the consistency of it. I would have to say this this one is a little bit more of a harder cleansing balm. 
It does melt into your skin, but not quite as easily as the other ones that I have. But you can see that is what Milani's balm looks like. You know, it's not a bad cleansing balm. I think it runs anywhere between $11 and change and maybe $13.99 or something. I saw varying prices for this, but I just can't get over the smell. It's just not a smell that I really like that much. The consistency is okay, but not my favorite consistency of the drugstore or cleansing balms. So I would say this would probably be the one I would buy last out of all the ones that I have on my table right now. The next one is from Soap and Glory. When I read about this, it says it's a balm to milk cleansing balm. It says that Soap and Glory is cruelty free. However, they cannot guarantee, you know, their suppliers are cruelty free. That's where the little twist is with Soap and Glory. For this one, it says it contains vitamin C and four different oils, marula, avocado, apricot, and jojoba oil. It is easy to rinse off, non-greasy, doesn't leave a residue. If you look at this one, this one is definitely one of the softer cleansing balms. There's no scent to this at all. To me, it was more of a definitely an oilier feeling cleansing balm. Personally, I felt that this one did leave a residue on my lashes, like in my eyes, which drive me crazy. This one is just a little bit too oily for me. I know a lot of people do like oils on their face to break down their makeup, but for me personally, this one, it was a little too oily and it did go into my eyes and leave that residue in my eyes that takes a while to go away. I just don't like it that much. I would have to say these two would be the ones on the bottom of my list for repurchasing. They do get good reviews. People seem to really like them. They're not my favorites. Like I said, if I was going to purchase other less expensive cleansing bombs, I have other ones that I would prefer. Going up on the list, Milani kind of would be at the bottom. Soap and Glory would be next. The next one I would say would be Derma E. This is the Derma E Essentials Unit universal cleansing balm. All right, this one looks like this. It has a very different look to it. It's non-GMO, gluten-free. It has the Leaping Bunny approval, seal of approval as being cruelty-free. It is soy-free. It is made sustainably. It is a, considered a cleansing milk that is ultra hydrating. It has vitamin A, C, and rosehip oil. Also has cocoa and shea butter butters, citrus oils, and it also has camellia oil. This one has kind of a nice, very citrusy scent, which is nice. But again, this one to me is very oily. And I just, I just prefer cleansing balms that are not as oily feeling. Now, maybe if you have dry skin, you would love, love this. And I do have dry skin, but it's still not, wouldn't be considered my favorite cleansing balm right now. I already have a favorite that I like out of the bunch, but it's a nice cleansing balm because it does get very good reviews. It just like feels Vaseline-y. Like my fingers are all greasy now from touching it. It reminds me of the expensive cleansing balm that I had and I can't think of the name of it. Um, oh, it's I'm blanking on the name. It reminds me of, and I'll put it right down here. It kind of has that same consistency of this cleansing balm, which is more expensive. If you like this cleansing balm's consistency, you may love this one then, but for me, it's it's just not my favorite. Okay, now moving on to my favorite cleansing balms. I would have to say probably, oh, and I'm missing one. Hold on, I'll be right back. These would be my top cleansing balms that I could buy at Target, for example, or Walmart, and I'll put them in the order that uh, they would be. I have four left at the bottom of the list of the four, but the four that I really like would be the one from Physicians Formula. It's the perfect matcha and it is a three-in-one cleansing melting cleansing balm. When you open this up, I don't really detect a lot of a scent. If it's anything, it's very clean. It's green. It looks like that. It says it contains antioxidant rich matcha green tea, bamboo shoot, and lotus extract. It's hypoallergenic. It's paraben free, gluten free, and cruelty free and vegan. This one, I actually like the feel of it, even though it does feel slightly more of 
even feel the oils in it. But even though you can feel that, it didn't bother my eyes. There's no scent to it at all. And I felt it did a good job of melting away my makeup. So I would say this one would be one of my favorites, but not the favorite one that I would buy. Okay, now we are down to my final three top favorite, favorite cleansing bombs. I would have to say of the three, the bottom of the three would be the one from e.l.f. e.l.f.'s is the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It has the consistency that I like. It's a slightly firmer consistency. It just doesn't feel as oily to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It has a nice consistency. It doesn't bother my eyes. It's very hydrating. It is easy to remove. It contains hyaluronic acid. It contains ceramides to protect your skin's barrier. Peptides. It helps to plump your skin. It is, from my understanding, cruelty-free. It contains no phthalates, parabens, no triclosan, and no hydroquinone. I don't use hydroquinone at all, and it contains no sulfates. I really like this. The only thing is, it wasn't my favorite smelling. There really isn't that much of a smell. There's a slight scent to it. It's not a bad scent, but it's not my favorite scent. This would be in my top three cleansing bombs. I think this is only $10, so it's a really good price. My two very top cleansing bombs, the runner-up. I love this Clean It Zero. I just love this cleansing bomb. I love the scent of it. I think it smells so good. It just smells really, really fresh. This is paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, polyethylene-free, mineral oil-free, alcohol-free. They say it is infused with both botanicals, vitamin E and vitamin C, and I like the consistency of it. Doesn't feel kind of as oily as the like soap and glory one did. I just love the way this feels. It goes on like velvet. So I would have to say this would be the runner up. I've been using this. I love it. I keep reaching for it. Love this cleansing balm. Really one of my top favorite cleansing balms. Okay, I probably have to say my most favorite, most favorite cleansing balm from the drugstore or I would say Target, I think this is where I purchased this from, is the one from Versed. Really love this cleansing balm. It is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It contains eucalyptus oil that is antibacterial eye safe, so it's not going to bother your eyes, and vitamin E, and it's also clean beauty. Love, love, love the consistency of this. It has a little bit of a harder consistency, not super hard. I just love the way this feels going on. It feels like velvet. I love the scent of it. It smells, I know it sounds really crazy, a little like Vicks, but a very light scent of Vicks. It's more of a medicinal, menthol-y scent. It's non-toxic, it's sustainably made. And I believe in 2021, they said they were gonna be using plastic that was post-consumer, recycled plastic. For all the ones I've tested out, of the three top ones, the one from Verse, the one from Clean It Zero, and the one from Elf, I would probably have to say I prefer these two, the one from Verse and Clean It Zero, over the Elf. The scents that I prefer are these two. Love the consistency of these. They do a great job of taking off my layers and layers of mineral sunscreen and also my mascara. Hope you enjoyed seeing my personal favorites. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye from Marla.